So I want to come inside the structure, guys. So for the last part, which is the physical properties. Okay, in general, for all hydrocarbons compound. Okay, so it will cover the solubility and also the boiling point. So for the first one, solubility. Okay, solubility is just like uh, like this of like. So it means that if the compound is non-organic, sorry, non-polar, so the compound can be dissolved in the non-polar compound. So if the solutions or compound is a polar compound, so meaning that it can be dissolved in the polar organic compound. Okay, so for example, you can see here, uh, hydrocarbons that are non-polar do not form hydrogen bonding with the water molecule. Why? Because water is a polar compound. So, when the hydrocarbon is non-polar, so meaning that it cannot be dissolved in the polar solvent. So, it is described as the hydrotropic. Okay, so you just remember, polar, I can dissolve dalam polar. Non-polar, I can dissolve in non-polar. So, how you want to determine whether the compound is polar or non-polar so by determine whether that compound is able to um, do the hydrogen bond okay kalau compound tu boleh buat hydrogen bonding means that dia adalah polar compound so kalau dia adalah polar compound dia akan dissolve dalam polar solvent okay so that's the key point so next adalah untuk boiling point. So kita ada physical state. Okay, this one mainly untuk carbon lah. Carbon kalau di C1 sampai di C4, di dalam bentuk gases. So so that's why um, gas metana, gas butane. Okay, kalau you pernah guna Bunsen burner. Okay, Bunsen burner dia guna gas butane. Okay. So, kalau liquid, dia adalah dalam bentuk C5 hingga C18. C5 up to C18. So, liquid form. Okay, bentuk hexane, pentane, heptane, octane. Okay, macam you punya fuel. Okay, uh, raw number kan, research octane number. So, dia dalam bentuk liquid. Okay, and then more than C18 dalam bentuk solid. Okay, so... Uh, we are going to learn on the effect of molecular mass on the boiling point. So, saya dah beritahu at the previous video. For the boiling point, mainly kita akan bagi you two or three compound and then you have to compare and contrast. Which one is the highest boiling point or which one is the lowest boiling point. So, what factors that contribute to the highest or the lowest boiling point? So, there are two factors. The first one is the molecular mass. The second one is the branching effect. Okay, so I give you one example. Okay, for example, you either pentane, then you juga either 2-methyl butane. Okay, so since you tak kenal nama lagi, so saya akan tunjuk structure. So, pentane adalah 5 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 methyl butane, kita nak lukis, kita tengok pada hujung dulu. Butane bermaksud 4 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, carbon number 2 ada methyl group. Okay. So, saya lukis balik. Methyl group yang saya sebut tadi, kalau methane, alkyl, methyl, maksudnya alkyl tolak 1, hydrogen. So, metal bermaksud satu carbon pada branch. So, first kali kita nak belajar in term of effect of molecular mass. Okay. Another compound, saya bagi lagi. Okay. So, ini paling panjang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, kalau 6, nama dia hexane. Branch dia pada 1, 2, 3. So, 2, 3, dimethyl, hexane. Okay, kenapa dimethyl? 
Sebab ada dua metil. Okey, satu dekat karbon dua, satu dekat karbon tiga. So, dua metil. So, sebab tu nama dia dimetil. Okey. So, ada kompon satu, kompon dua, kompon tiga. So, and then. Okey. Kita nak tengok which one yang highest boiling point. Highest, eh. Highest BP. Okay, alright. So, first, we compare the first and the second one. Okay, in term of uh, molecular mass. Alright. So, the first one, dia ada 5 carbon. So, single bond, 12 hydrogen. The second one pun, dia ada 5 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon dan juga 12 hydrogen. Okay, macam mana saya tahu 12 hydrogen? Sebab dia single bond. So, dia mesti comply dengan CNH2N plus 2. Okay. So, antara 1 dengan 2, dia tiada perbezaan daripada segi molecular mass. Kenapa? Sebab bilangan carbon dan bilangan hydrogen dia adalah equal. Adalah sama. So, there is no difference in the molecular mass. So, bermaksud efek nombor satu ni tak terpakai untuk compound 1 and compound 2. Alright. So, let's move to the compound number 3. So, hexane adalah 6 carbon. So, tambah dengan 2 lagi depan ni. So, in total dia ada 6 campur 2, 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, si 8 H, 18. Sebab dia adalah single bond. So, comply dengan benda ni. So, untuk 1 dengan 2, tiada perbezaan daripada segi molecular mass. Tapi untuk carbon nombor 3, okay, as you compare, ada perubahan daripada segi molecular mass. Kenapa? Bilangan karbon dia tak sama. Yang ini 5, yang ini 8. Hydrogen dia 12, yang ini 18. So, meaning that molecular mass untuk karbon nombor 3 lebih tinggi daripada karbon pertama dan karbon kedua. Okay, so kita baca lagi. Boiling point of a straight chain alkane increase steadily with the relative molecular mass due to increasing forces of attraction. A larger molecule with greater surface area and greater van der Waals attractions boils at higher temperature. So meaning that bila compound to ada higher molecular mass, high molecular mass, so, mean that dia akan higher BP. So, antara kompon 1, 2 dan 3, yang higher molecular mass adalah kompon number 3. So, that's why number 3 is the highest BP. So, kalau nak kita nak buat sequence, highest, okay, highest BP. So, kompon number 3 berada pada hujung sebab dia paling tinggi. Okay, so untuk kompon nombor 1 dengan 2, kita tak boleh gunakan the first point sebabnya molecular mass dia adalah sama. Okay, so untuk uh, seterusnya adalah second factor adalah effect of branching on boiling point. So dia kata hydrocarbon with the same number of carbon. So, this one is applicable untuk kompon 1 dan kompon 2. Sebab dia same number of carbon. Okay, branch chain lower BP, straight chain higher BP. So, meaning that yang ada branch lower, yang straight macam number 1 ni, dia higher. Kenapa? Sebab the branch alkane, K, dia more compact and have smaller surface area. Kalau you comparekan yang ini, surface area dia dengan yang ini, surface area nombor 2 lebih kecil. Okay, as compared to the first one. So, kalau dia surface area dia kecil, van der Waals interactions dia, van der Waals interactions dengan molecule yang lain akan lebih rendah. So, perlukan sedikit tenaga untuk overcome that van der Waals 
process. So that's why boiling point ni lebih rendah. So bermaksud antara kompon pertama dan kompon kedua, kompon pertama boiling point lebih tinggi. So sorry, kompon pertama boiling point lebih tinggi sebab dia adalah straight chain alkin. So the sequence akan jadi satu, dua. Lowest boiling point adalah carb, uh, compound kedua. Yang tengah-tengah, the middle one is compound pertama. And the highest boiling point adalah compound ketiga. So why the third compound is the highest boiling point is due to the higher molecular mass. So higher surface area, higher when the walls interaction. So that's why higher boiling point. Okay. Why the second compound has the lowest boiling point? Because as compared to the first carbon, it contain more branch. Okay, so bila dia ada lebih banyak branch, so the surface area makin rendah. Okay, the van der Waals attractions akan rendah. So that's why the boiling point akan lebih rendah. Okay, another examples. Okay, I give you this compound and this compound. Okay, so your first step is calculate the carbon number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So C7H, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is C8H, 18. So, kalau you nampak, the carbon number is different. So, terus pergi ke comparing on the molecular mass. You kena abaikan the branch. Okay. So, first thing, mesti pergi ke molecular mass. Mass, sorry. If the carbon number is different. Okay. So, yang ini, kalau saya tanya highest BP. So, satu dengan dua. So, jawapan dia adalah number 2. Has highest BP, okay, because of higher molecular mass. So, higher when the walls attractions, okay, be due to higher surface area. So, higher boiling point. Okay, reasoning kena lengkap. Alright, so... If I give you another examples, okay, macam ni. So, ingat first step, kira dulu carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, C6H, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, C6H, 14. So, this one tak boleh guna molecular mass sebab carbon number dia sama. So, definitely you can guna branch. So, ingat pesan saya, first thing, check dulu carbon number. Kalau sama, your reason can guna branch. If tak sama, your reason is on the molecular mass. So, kalau branch, you can tengok. Let's say, kalau dia tanya higher BP juga. So, carbon 1, carbon 2. The first carbon has highest boiling point. Why? Because it contain no branch. So, bila no branch, meaning that higher surface area, higher when the walls, so higher boiling point. Alright? So, dah habis dah for this chapter. Hopefully, you can understand. As usual, if you have any question, you can directly contact me. Okay, so thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Hopefully, you can understand this topic very well. Alright, so thank you.